All right, so Father, we just thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for the pastor of the house. We thank you, Father, for putting this thing in him. We thank you, Lord, for giving him a heart for more. I thank you, Father. If we read that passage in, in Mark, it talks about how Jesus, he looked out into the crowd and he saw the people and he recognized that they were harassed and they were helpless like sheep without a shepherd. And the Bible says that he had compassion on them. And it was out of compassion that he felt led, that he felt compelled to feed them. And he, 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 he brought his disciples in on that process. And if we read all throughout the Gospels, Pastor, you know this, all throughout the Gospels, it talks about how there was this compelling compassion that came up into him that caused him to do the works of the Father. And God, I thank you. That word compassion in the Greek is the idea of your guts being wrenched. And you have felt that. You have felt that for your people, that pain in your stomach, such compassion. And I know you have said, we know that you have the anointing of a pastor, but so did Jesus. And out of that pastorship anointing came an incredible way, an incredible moving in signs and miracles and wonders. And tonight, I'm going to unlock that in you. Tonight, I am speaking over you. You are not just a pastor, that you are a prophet. You are an apostle. You are a teacher and you are an evangelist. You are a healer. You are a deliverer. You are a feeder of the multitude. All of those things being loosed in you right now in the name of Jesus. We're no longer just going to diminish you to one title because if Jesus carried them all, if compassion compelled them all, come on, if Jesus carried them all, if compassion compelled them all, then so does Pastor Scott. And so, Father, we stretch that box right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, we stretch it. We stretch that box right now in the name of Jesus, and we release that fuller portion and we call forth a shifting in his heart and a shifting in his mind in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.